eighth mile. We're doing eighth, eighth mile. mile. You should go to sport for that, right? Yeah. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the German League Tuning YouTube channel. My name's Brad. In this video, we are going to dyno the S3 on the stock tune. And we are also going to install a APR Carbono intake, which is the closed element filter. So um, we get to baselines first, uh, probably do two runs stock, and then uh, swap the uh, intake out, do two more runs, and kind of see how much power the intake makes. Um, I haven't really found any videos yet to compare the stock versus um, in it, the car carbon fiber one from APR um, on YouTube. So figured why not make a video on it and uh, have some fun while doing it. So we're here at AC Euros, Austin's helped me out, and. Uh, Thing rolling. All right, first thing we got to do is calibrate the drivetrain loss and uh, also the vehicle speed and RPM calibration. So we are going to start the drivetrain loss calibration right now. So we'll start, we get up to 100 miles an hour. See how we do. Okay, everything's calibrated. We're gonna do a uh, third gear pull real quick and uh, see what we get for a baseline. Let's get into third. All right, here we go. That's that's pretty accurate, I think, for stock. That's third. Yeah. It ripped through it well. Yeah, dude, this thing this thing pulls, dude. For a stock car, like I'm I'm really impressed by this yeah. actually. It's super fun. The S3 is super fun. Yeah. Don't mind that check engine light. It's coolant related. We're we're good. <laughs> uh, okay. So we'll do one more. Do a back to back and see how it does. All right, we're gonna do one more here. You should play with it too. I've never used the drag feature. Oh. Quarter mile it and do our tuning and see what the quarter we mile We could. Is. Yeah. yeah, we totally could. Dude, for 131,000 miles, like, this thing's broken in, for sure. The Italian tuned up that first run. I know. It burbled a little bit, and it was spin so out. This run yeah. is completely smooth. Nice. Eighth mile. Eighth mile. Eighth mile. We're doing eighth, eighth mile. mile. Seconds. Ten six. 
and it read 446 to 80 miles an hour. It's not bad. Right? Is it? Did it show a mile an hour? Yeah, top left, oh, top yeah. speed. That's funny that it. <laughs> Bring it over and put your reaction time. Well, reaction time, yeah, it was horrible um, since I read the first one, but like, yeah, so I don't know what the 445 torque was, unless that was like, well, it's probably peak torque, but like first, second gear. You oh, maybe advantage. that's true. Yeah. 260. Oh, the glare. Yeah, yeah. that glare. All right. But still, yeah, that's, that's pretty solid. 10, 10 and the eighth. Like yeah. that's, that's, that's moving. Especially from a standing start. You need to launch it. Yeah, I know. Cool. Awesome. Nice. Be interesting to see it all turned up yeah. what that number changes to all right that was that was pretty awesome that thing uh i think, I think rips the eighth mile pretty fast like I, I need to do some draggy runs i just i haven't done them so but i'll be definitely do, doing some draggy runs for sure but um all right we're gonna swap in it's apr carbon fiber carbono i guess it's not really carbono anymore because they they bought it right so it's apr yeah, a APR, carbon fiber, closed intake. We we'll swap that out real quick and then uh, do some more pulls. All right, we're doing, yep, first pull with uh, the intake. Uh, we want to turn traction control off. Keep holding it until it says off. Okay. Here we go. We might make sure to start the dyno. Okay. Try to hold you guys as steady as I can. Here we go. Saves up to the video, guys. Peak torque, peak torque, 4,200 RPM. Yeah, 4,200 RPM. We got peak torque and peak horsepower. Yeah, what? 5,200. 50, yeah, 5,200. Uh, 265. So that's that's good. We'll do one more. That's a cool. Your rips pretty fast. 349. Uh, what? 349, 263 horse. some gains a few horsepower yeah yeah 308 yeah. 308 that was yeah it must have been a weird run so that doesn't make sense here let's see results results are always good so we got 14 torque eight. right yep. and eight horsepower with just putting the intake on so the APR carbon fiber intake the closed intake I know they have their their open one now but that's pretty awesome. 14 torque and eight horsepower. And that, that's what I noticed. the whole curve too. Yeah, like that's, it, that's the whole range. Been, especially top end, wow. Like yeah, it's definitely full on up top. And that was a decent clean filter. It wasn't like the filter was nasty or anything, but yeah, so like right across, you know, and it just holds true, so. 
That's awesome. I mean, intakes intakes do help. People are like, oh, you know, people yeah. are like, yeah, intakes kind of don't help, but they really do. I mean, it's obviously showing right there. So. Too bad we didn't have a turbo inlet. I know, yeah, I need a turbo inlet too, but I mean, that, that'll be for another video. Thanks, dude. That was awesome. Yeah. Had a good time. Yeah. Let's get it tuned now. Yes, exactly. Christian uh, made a little pickup, didn't he? Yep. Of course. I think so, sick. His way up. Yeah, <laughs> it's all right. No big deal. Yeah, Bad ass. The are a must. All right, brother. All right, see you. Later. Thanks. Yep. Big shout out to AZ Euros. And that dope ass sign. All right, first drive after the intake install. Man, this thing, this thing's fast. First stock, like this. Well, it's got an intake, but I mean, it's it pulls really hard. Okay, first launch after the intake install. Here we go. Ready? Definitely need to do some draggy runs. Mm -hmm. 